just love this family, this family photo. It just captures our personalities. And I just look, um, my big cheeks and wide eyes. In all sincerity, what I've, ooh, I'm gonna, even then I knew I was different. Even at that young age, I knew I was different. Did I know I was gay? I didn't know that. But I do know, and with this big smile and eyes and scratching and, um, I knew I was different. And what I would tell this little five-year-old, it's okay, it's okay that you're different. And you don't have to be perfect. Um, that's what I would tell her. Oh, <laughs> oh my golly. Uh, look at look at this picture, okay? I <laughs> this was late 80s. I was like 28, 29 years old, living in Atlanta, Georgia. I tore up Atlanta. I had I had a good time. I feel like I look younger now <laughs> than I did when I was then because it was something like when you're in your late 20s and you're just such in a hurry to grow up and and to get going and I had these big dreams and even though I was loving Atlanta at the time, um, I had aspirations of making it to the network level. It said ladies of prime time. We were the ladies of prime time in Atlanta. And we were there, we weren't, um, and we were in competing TV stations, but we were one. And um, when, I, when I look at that, I see unity. Oh my, I just thought I was so grown. I just, I was, I just look at that picture and I, 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 I would tell myself at this point in my life, slow down. Oh, that thing that we say now as we get older, stay in the moment. And I know everyone, ah! it's so true. It's so true. The Arthur Ashe Award for Courage at the ESPYs after I had gone through MDS, myelodysplastic syndrome. And my dear sister, who you saw the picture of earlier, Sally Ann, was my donor, my bone marrow donor. And she was the reason why I could stand in front of my colleagues and others and accept an award for courage. And let me just say, it's just so funny for all of us who have gone through cancer or some life altering illness and we're told, you're courageous, you're so cur We're like, that's the last thing we feel. It's humbling for me to represent you tonight. I draw strength from you. You give me the courage to face down any challenge, to know that when, fears, when fear knocks, to let faith answer the door. We're all a little bit stronger than we know. This is what this picture means to me. I'm honored that people see me as a, a beacon of hope and strength and resilience. I thank you for thinking that about me. My advice would be <sighs> why is it that you might have something in front of you right now, some goal or some aspiration or some dream that you think is insurmountable, that you feel there's no way I'm going to climb this mountain. Can I ask you to please look back and see all the mountains you've already climbed? You are enough. And let me tell you, you are a limited edition. Oh, oh my goodness. Woo. Everyone should be so blessed. Diane Sawyer, Charlie Gibson. I was venturing outside of my comfort zone leaving sports that's my ooh, that's my wheelhouse i could talk about sports till the cows come home and to make the transition to news and to have these two there to support me to teach me to encourage me to believe in me and you 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 i'm, I'm glad that it's only from the waist up because you can't see my knees knocking underneath <laughs> the desk because um like a lot of us, especially women, have that imposter syndrome. How could I be here? How could I be sitting next to Charlie 
and Diane. They're gonna, someone's gonna figure out and go like, hey you, get out of here. It wasn't something I had on my whiteboard to be at Good Morning America. And what it says to me is, and I'll say to you, I wonder how life's gonna surprise you. And get ready for your suddenly. And I look at this picture, and even though I said about the imposter syndrome, I knew how hard I had worked. You saw the picture in Atlanta. Got to ESPN by the age of 30, and now for all these years, for 20 years, I've been able to say, good morning, America, for 20 years. People are always saying and asking about what these 20 years what it means to me and what, and, and want to talk about all that I've given and all that I have done. Do you know, <laughs> it has been returned to me tenfold to be able to, to share um, so much of my, of my story and to be accepted. You know, from that little girl who felt different and was worried wouldn't be accepted to be embraced um, encouraged that is something that is absolutely priceless and that is what's been given to me 